For this project, we are going to make a person holding a color wheel umbrella. Things you will need for this project are some kind of stencil in the shape of a circle that you can trace. It should be about half the size of your paper. If you have a smaller circle, I would work on a smaller piece of paper because your person will end up smaller. A pencil. Some kind of an eraser. It can be in the back of your pencil or a larger eraser. A Sharpie. If you are using a Sharpie, make sure you ask your parents first and that you have something under your paper in case the Sharpie bleeds through. A regular black marker will also work. And some kind of a straight edge, so a ruler or the edge of a book or the edge of a piece of paper, something to make straight lines. So we're going to start by making our color wheel. So before we make that, we need to know how many pieces of the pie that we need. So we're going to have six colors, three primary, red, yellow, and blue and three secondary, purple, orange, and green. So you're going to take your circle, put it near the top of your paper, making sure there is an equal amount of space on both sides of our circle, and make sure it is down from the top of your paper. Make sure you have room on the bottom for your person, then take your paper, your pencil I mean, and trace your circle. After you trace your circle, you can put the stencil aside. You will not need that again. Next, you're going to pick up your straight edge. We're going to split this into six sections. So line your ruler up diagonally. We want to have a smaller slice at the top. We're going to create an X. Take your ruler, rotate it, and do the same thing on the other side. Next, you will take your ruler and go straight down the center, making sure my ruler intersects where these two lines come together. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six sections. Next, we're going to create the body of our person. So come down to the bottom of your color wheel and draw a rectangular shape. You do not need to use a ruler. You can freehand this. This will be the bottom half of your person. The head of your person is covered by the umbrella, so we're only going to see their coat and their arm. Next, we're going to add an arm in. We're going to put this arm in a pocket. So we're going to start by drawing the pocket. The easiest way to make a pocket is make a rectangle. And then add a triangle on the bottom. Now we're going to do the top of the arm. Now some of this arm is covered up by the umbrella, so all you need to do is two lines going straight up, a circle for a button, and a line for the cuff of your sleeve. Down the front of our jacket, we're going to draw a line where the jacket comes together, and buttons down the center. Now we want to add some kind of arm that is holding this umbrella. So we're going to draw a line out and a line up. You only need to do that part because most of this is covered up by the umbrella. Next we're going to add some boots in. To make a boot you're going to come straight down with a vertical line. Come over. Come back up here. Decide how thick our leg is going to be. Come over, straight line down, and then start to add a curved line here for the toe of your boot. Now we want to add two legs. So again, some of this leg is going to be covered up by this leg, so straight line down, curve, over. Now we have two boots. You can add the top of your boot, and maybe some designs. can add whatever kind of things you would like. So next we're going to add a water puddle. To do this we're going to just do a wiggly line. And 
And the final step of this project is to take your marker and trace everything that you drew in pencil. Going nice and slow, trying to make nice consistent lines. You can take your eraser now, erase any lines that you have left over. We're going to stop there for this part, and the next part we will talk about the color wheel and coloring the picture. Good luck and have fun.